Hello, in this session, we are going to look at the last stage that we have in a Terraform life cycle, Terraform life cycle or the workflow, which is your destroy stage. Now, at any point, if you do not want the resources that you have created using Terraform, like for example, let's say the instance that we have created here, if we no longer want this, we can go ahead and destroy this resource by using the destroy stage. So at any point, if you no longer want the infrastructure or any resources, we can go ahead and destroy those resources by using the destroy stage. All right. So before we start with this session, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So let's get started. So at this point or at any point, if you do not want the resources or the infrastructure, like let's say uh, you, you're no, lo no longer using the resources or that infrastructure, you can go ahead and destroy that infrastructure. Now for that, we make use of the Terraform destroy command. All right, so when we run this command, this will also generate a plan for us as to what all resources Terraform is destroying. And once we're okay with the plan, we can approve it and Terraform will start destroying those resources for us. So this command is basically the reverse of your Terraform apply. So in case of Terraform apply, Terraform will create the resources. And in case of Terraform destroy, Terraform will destroy the resources for us. So it does not destroy the resources running elsewhere that are not managed by the current Terraform project. So basically understand that your Terraform destroy will only destroy the resources managed by Terraform. For example, here I have two instances. Now, the second instance was launched by Terraform and the first instance I have launched it manually. So when I run the Terraform destroy command, Terraform will only destroy the resources managed by Terraform. So let's look at an example for this. So here you can see if I run the Terraform show, it will show me the resource that Terraform is uh, um, uh, managing or creating. So here I have one EC2 instance that Terraform has created for us. Now let's say I want to destroy that. So I can use simply run this um, Terraform destroy and this will also generate a plan for us as to what all resources Terraform is going to destroy. All right. So here starting from the top, you can see here minus destroy hyphen. So in case of Terraform apply, we see plus create and in case you're destroying, you'll see hyphen destroy and you can see this will be destroyed and you can validate. So which instance this is going to destroy. So in my case, if you look at this, this is the instance which will be destroyed. So you can validate whether you're okay with the plan with the, with the resources that will be destroyed and you can look at the plan over here zero to add, zero to change and one to destroy. Again, you'll have to explicitly approve this by typing in yes. You can either type in yes or we can also use this terraform destroy hyphen auto approve. Now in this case, it will not prompt you for the approval because we are passing this parameter and it will go ahead and destroy the resources for us. So let's wait for this to complete. Just waiting. So now if you go and look at the console, you should be able to see the status as shutting down. So this is because Terraform is destroying the resource for me. Once this is done, the instance will be terminated. So that's how we can make use of the Terraform destroy command. So at any point, if you don't want the resources, uh, if you no longer using those resources, we can go ahead and destroy those resources. So you can see destroy complete resources one destroy and here you can see this is terminated now at this point if i run the terraform show command i will get an empty output because now terraform is not managing any resources for us so that's basically what your terraform destroy stage is so this is the life cycle or the workflow that we have for your terraform so once again we have the init stage then we have the uh, validate stage then we have the plan stage, we have the apply stage, we have the show stage and destroy is the last stage that we have in your Terraform lifecycle or your Terraform workflow. That's all for this session. Thank you. Once again, before you leave, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you like the video, leave a like and please share the video.